take a look at those wind gusts this morning. Our weather authority meteorologist Josh Kozlowski is sending this in. Much of central New York seeing high winds, high wind warnings, excuse me, this morning and bursts of snow. Here's a look at the Stanley cam this afternoon near zero visibility here on I-81 and the threat continues for much of central New York heading into this evening. Our meteorologist Violet Skybor is out on the weather deck for us tonight. Violet couldn't see a thing when that squall came in this morning. Are we expecting more of that tonight? Yes, and we are still seeing quite a bit of those out there. The one thing with this situation, though, is that these lake effect snow bands and snow squalls are very thin bands. So we'll see a quick drop in visibility with heavy snow and strong winds and then eventually drying out very quickly. So we do have a few weather alerts in effect. There's a winter weather advisory for Onondaga and Madison counties now until 3 a.m. Sunday. That's for that lake effect snow outside right now. We also have a wind advisory up until 10 p.m. for wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. And that combined with the snow, again, could create very low visibility. With those strong winds, we also have a lakeshore flood warning for any of the areas along the shoreline through Oswego and Jefferson counties for this evening. So our next weather makers talking about these snow squalls. Again, a snow squall is a very brief but heavy burst of snowfall with strong winds. If you are driving for the rest of this evening, be especially careful. And if you have to pull off to the side of the road, don't drive directly through some of these snow squalls. We're seeing some pretty heavy snow coming down. Eventually, these snow squalls will taper off as we head into tonight, moving northward up into Oswego County before tapering off by tomorrow morning. Then on Sunday, sunshine looks to return. We will still have some chilly temperatures, but a big warm up is expected as we look ahead to next week. Could see temperatures back into the 50s once again. A live look first from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. You can see these bands of some heavy snow zooming in here. The heaviest ones right now moving into Madison County, into Casanova along Route 20, also approaching Hamilton and Norwich as well. You can see some of the pockets in here are very heavy, but notice how thin these bands are. So that that quick burst of snow again will create near zero visibility and then pass just as quickly as it came on. Now the reason why is we are, we are also seeing some strong winds, which is creating creating those very heavy snow bands. Right now it's in from the northwest around 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts as high as around 40, sometimes 50 miles per hour at times for this evening. As we go over the next few hours, eventually that wind will slowly begin to decrease going towards tonight with quieter weather on the way for tomorrow. We'll get some cold temperatures still for Sunday, but we will have some nice dry weather as high pressure moves in with some more sunshine. So let's time this out. For this evening, we are seeing those snow squalls. Be especially careful driving. They are scattered across central New York through Onondaga and Madison County is where we're seeing the heaviest snow squalls. Temperatures right now around 20 degrees, dropping down into the teens tonight. That snow will become lighter as the wind becomes lighter tonight and eventually push further northward as we get more of a west wind and that will drive it up into Oswego County tapering off by sunrise on Sunday and then decreasing clouds through the day. We're expecting plenty of sunshine on Sunday and some chilly temperatures still. We're only going to be in the 30s, but eventually we will become well above normal looking ahead to next week. Additional snowfall. Again, it's a general quick burst of snow that could produce around one to three inches under any of those snow squalls. A check of your seven day forecast again sunshine on Sunday, a high of 39 with breezy conditions still on Monday, mostly cloudy high of 49. Then we're in the 50s with widespread rain on Tuesday, changing over to some snow showers on Wednesday as temperatures sink through the day and get back to normal for the end of the week. Then we could be talking about another big snowmaker on Friday with some widespread accumulating snow and lake effect behind that back inside.